Today we're talking about beard dandruff. Beard dandruff is not something anybody wants. It's dry, it's flaky, it's horrible, and it's really nothing to joke about. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Welcome to the channel. This is the table series where we release weekly content all about bearding. And today's topic is beard dandruff. Now, if you've suffered with beard dandruff, let us know in the comment section. If you're currently suffering with it, let us know in the comment section. And also let us know if you find this video helpful. So I'm gonna be telling you all about beard dandruff in exactly three seconds. So beard dandruff is basically dry skin, which is trapped under your beard and against your skin, obviously. Now these are just dead skin cells, the same as you'll get anywhere else on your body. But where does it come from? So the main causes for beard dandruff, firstly, it's poor grooming. Poor grooming, it means you're not getting rid of those dead skin cells and they're being stuck under your beard. Now dead skin cells, everyone produces them, that's effectively what dust is, but when you're clean shaven, you don't have to worry about it because there's nowhere for those dead skin cells to get trapped. When you've got a beard, they get trapped underneath there, which is why grooming is hugely important. Another factor is products. Are you using the wrong products? Are the products not working for you? Have you got an allergic reaction to the products? Holy crap! <laughs> Please help me. Another point is psoriasis. Now psoriasis is very, very common and this causes the skin to be dry. There's a reason you can get psoriasis, but like I said, it's what causes dryness in the skin and that dry skin turns to flaky skin. So how do you stop beard dandruff? <laughs> Daily grooming is the most important thing to sort out beard dandruff. Now what you're gonna need is a decent ball hair brush and a decent ball hair brush is not only designed to style the beard, but it also will pull out all of the dead skin. It's hugely important to run this through your beard every day, twice a day, three times a day. You can't do it enough, really. It doesn't matter if you lose a couple of hairs in the process. It's completely natural to lose beard hairs. I've done a video on this before, which I'll link above, but you would rather have the beard dandruff in your brush than in your beard. The second point, is oils. Now oils, beard oils, a good beard oil can be massively great for your beard. It hydrates your skin, keeps your beard nice and soft too. You can't go wrong with a decent beard oil. Just make sure you're not applying too much. Less is more. Make sure you're not overdoing it. The next thing is beard wash. Washing your beard is massively important. If you're washing your beard with the wrong products, it can dry out your skin and this is what can cause beard dandruff. So you wanna get yourself a nice beard soap or a pH balanced beard wash. And as I said, that will help massively. Another reason, water consumption. Sounds silly, people tell you to drink water all the time. And that's what I call high quality tool. Oh! But actually, being hydrated helps your skin produce the natural sebum, which actually helps your skin and your pores and this will tackle, it's your body's natural way of tackling dry skin. Getting to know your skin is also hugely important. What do I mean by getting to know your skin? Well, it's important for you to know your skin type because we're all different. Some guys might have oily skin, some guys might have dry skin, and it's important for you to look after your skin and take notice. I can give you as much advice as I, as I can on this video, but it's really down to your judgment to take my advice and use it to suit your beard the best. 